The budgetary axe is falling in the nation's schools. It's chopping expansion, cutting jobs, and whittling salary increases. Public education has been a right in our country for over 100 years. Cornwall Consolidated School in Northwest Connecticut has educated students for over 100 years. Public education only works with appropriate funding. We have a, a regional school district called Region 1 here in the northwest corner of Connecticut. And we have six towns that are represented in Region 1. And I am the representative from Cornwall. Each of those seven districts have to develop their budget every year. I assist primarily with the Region 1 budget, which is, but the Cornwall budget um, is always decided upon by the local Board of Education. Funds for the school, for the grammar school, um, largely come from property taxes in the town. So uh, each person, businesses, whatever, are taxed a certain percentage based on how much uh, they own their property, the valuation of what they have. We always want to have a budget that is um, primarily for me the most important thing is that addresses the needs of the students because we have to look at what is it that we want for the education of our students here at CCS what is what are our main areas of need and focus but at the same time we're thinking about that side we have to think about what's affordable to the taxpayers because we don't want to increase taxes too much or the people of the town might have a problem with that. Many students have no idea how much their own education costs taxpayers. We asked some students how much they thought was spent on them individually per year. So the school budget for the grammar school is about one-third of what the overall town budget is. And uh, just for a broad reference of what that would be, the school budget is about $2.3 million, and the town budget total is about 6.9. Our number on a per-student per basis is, is quite high. It's uh, 28 to $31,000, $32,000 uh, for the last per few years per student. Regardless of how many students are here, we still have to heat this building, we have to uh, air condition some of the building in, in the summer, uh, we have to, to light the building, um, uh, have electricity for our computers. Um, so some of those costs don't change uh, regardless of the number of students that are here. How does the state budget impact the Cornwall budget? The Cornwall budget, it's, it's related but it actually, um, the state, you know, we can't always depend on the state as much as we would like, but financially, the state of Connecticut is not in very good shape. So they're always looking for ways to reduce their budget and increase their revenue so that um, they don't have to, uh, you know, raise property taxes and that kind of other taxes. But at the same time, we do get some money, every school gets some money from the state and that it's according to how many children we have in the school because there's flexibility in how we spend that. We can use it for teacher training. We can, use it, we can even use it for things like books or materials or computers. The, the caveat with that is we can't use it to replace something we already have. From the Board of Finance perspective, I think that, um, I think that, that we're sort of at that break point, or we're at that break point, where, where I think the budget is acceptable that's a good word here. It's an acceptable budget for the level of what we have. If we can increase the students, fabulous. And Cornwall is really one of the highest, what we, we say the highest cost per pupil in the state of Connecticut, which says what, what that means is the taxpayers here are willing to pay more for every child. Not everyone agrees on how much the budget should be. Even once a final number has been agreed upon, there are still many disagreements on how to divide that number up and what exactly to spend it on. Our students are very well served. We, have, we get a, a superior education and lots of opportunities for extracurricular activities um, and uh, just a high level uh, of education um, by, supported by our budget. It's just that, to remember that um, a budget is a planning tool, and it, it forces us to value what it is we're budgeting for. 